What's up guys? Today is a good day. We already have some uh, aftermarket goodies for the RXPX300 here. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to install the SCOM made by Reva Racing which is the speed control override module and this is a fairly fairly simple install and we're not only going to install it but we're going to test it in a later video once we get it back to the lake but um, the kit this is meant for several machines so read the instructions when you get it they're quite clear but as you see I got some extra pieces there's two different style brackets so make sure you use the right one for your machine and what's going to go on you need a 5 mil and you need a 10 mil and you'll notice that there's a plug coming off of the box here so this here is going to be your new diagnostic plug and your diagnostic plug in the machine plugs in the back of the SCOM so make sure you do that step properly so we'll dive right into it. Uh, the first step is you want to unhook the battery. I'll just give you a look at the instructions here first. So as you can see, pretty well detailed, pretty well labeled. Um, so yeah, first step is to get the saw mounted on the bracket second step is to remove the battery so I've got an RX PX300 what you got to do to remove the battery is crawl in the hole here in the front there's a couple little push clips down on the bottom here two of them once you pull those out then you can retract your pieces that guard and block your battery so, you unhook the battery, negative first, positive last. And you're going to notice, here's our diagnostic port, and it's actually got a blocker plug in the end of it. So we're going to take this blocker plug off, and we're going to put the blocker plug onto this plug on the SCOM. That's what the instructions tell you to do. And then we simply mount the SCOM, Plug everything in, pop the battery back up, and away you go. So, I'm not going to video my procedure of wrestling around in here getting this mounted. I guess you mount it to the uh, battery tray. So, I'll get that all done and all hooked up, and I'll show you what it looks like. And it looks like we're going to need a 12 or a 13 mil for the side of that battery tray. So you'll need three tools and three tools only, other than your uh, flathead to pop your clips. So I'll get out or get her done, and away we'll go. Okay, boys and girls, she's all mounted in there. This is the blocker plug on the pigtail off of the scum. My factory you, uh, diagnostic port is plugged into the SCOM base itself. Like I said, just want to repeat that. So she's uh, bolted down. I will say that 13 mil holding the battery down was a bit tricky to get started. But other than that, it was pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, very simple installation. So I'm not a real heavy rider. So I'm hoping to see the uh, higher end of the results in this thing, which should get me up between 78 and 80 miles an hour. Uh, I do still have my sponsons on um, sport mode. It seems to be uh, the best of both worlds. No water splashing in the face, blah, blah, blah. But um, to get the absolute top speed out of it, I think quite possibly probably had to move them up and put them on free ride with the uh, less drag in the water as I said in my other videos there on how to adjust them but for uh, a simple plug-and-play part here 
this thing is supposed to yield pretty big results on this machine so anyone with the 300 horsepower machine with the uh, governor on to it this is what you do to get rid of it and like I said when I get a chance to get it back to the lake we'll do some test runs and just see uh, see how fast it'll actually go because it's all stock other than that thanks for watching guys please subscribe so there we have it all back together when you remove it you take the left side out well I guess depending where you're standing you take this side out first that side out last when you put it back together you put that side in first this side in last and it all just kind of locks together and sits there as a guard